Okay, uh, we've been trying to get this wheel off. It's frozen to the axle, and I don't have a, a source of heat, but even then, that doesn't always get it off. So I'm going to show you how we're getting it off. I rented this harmonic balancer steering wheel pole kit from AutoZone. This is the actual kit, 57187, and inside of it, they have various size bolts and everything. So I'm using uh, these three here, which is I, which is 5 sixteenths by 18. Also using this, this step bit uh, from Harbor Freight. It's a three-piece set, and um, there's a real thin one, kind of a short, fat one, but I'll show you which one we are using. We're using this one. The sharper, smaller, I mean the smaller, more pointed steps gives you a little bit more cutting edge. So what we did is I, I put the um, bracket up here, and I marked it for three bolts where they would go uh, with a red sharpie and then we drilled the holes uh, with the bit all the way through as you can see there we put a washer on and then I went and bought some nuts that fit and we just tightened that up it was a little bit of a tight fit to put this center bolt in but I don't have a tip on it at all I'm just using just the center bolt I didn't have room to put any tips in there so we've been hand tightening it and one of the key things when you're hand tightening it every so often when it gets tight uh, you want to tap it with a, a maul and I'll show you so just uh, from time to time uh, gently uh, hit it with a sledgehammer you don't want to ruin the transmission I'm gonna show you Kind of like that and then then try tightening it again so we've got this uh moved it about probably an eighth of an inch so i'm going to get an um, impact wrench see if it'll come off now you're going the wrong way Stop and look at it. Okay, we actually threaded some of this into the hub, but uh, that's why it was turning so hard. But we got it out. It did not damage the threads. The next time we'll put, once we get in about a half an inch, we'll take take this off and put an extension here.
Okay, the back left side came came right off with no problem. Didn't even have to hammer it. We cleaned the axle and um, um, put some uh, anti-seas on it and it slid right back on. The other side we had to uh, hammer on. Okay, if you have to go deep into the wheel like I did to keep from uh, re-threading inside Use this extension.